Have you ever thought about building your own PC? What it would be like if it's hard to do, if it's worth the trouble, or just plain curious about building one? Well, here are a couple things to consider. Hey, what's up guys? My name is JD from JD Tech Gear, and welcome back to the channel where we discuss PC passion, tech reviews, unboxings, and setup design. So if you're into that sort of thing, consider checking out the rest of the channel and subscribing. So today, let's talk about the five reasons why you should build your very own PC and get you in the right mood, if you know what I mean. To get you started on your journey to build your very own PC, of course. So here are the five reasons. Reason number one, better value for performance. Believe it or not, you actually save a decent chunk of change building it yourself and picking out your own parts, as opposed to buying it off the shelf, buying a laptop, or a custom built PC off of a distributor that makes their own custom PCs. So you get to choose the individual parts you want, look for deals, and know what good prices are and squeeze the best dollar out of it. When you buy a PC off the shelf or pre-built, you would not be paying the price you would pay for those components if you were to build it yourself. Think of it this way, if you went to a mechanic to change the brakes on your car, you would have to pay for the parts and also for the service in typical fashion. But if you were to do it yourself, you would just be paying for the parts and be doing the service for free because you're doing it yourself. Of course, there are very well established and reputable custom PC building companies that don't overcharge a ridiculous amount, but there are definitely ones that do. For laptops, of course, you have to squeeze all those components into a tight space to make it compact and portable. So it usually costs a lot more to make it into that small form factor that it is. Reason number two, you typically see better performance and upgradability. Compared to a laptop, you have a lot more space with a desktop computer, even in the smaller form factors of desktop computers. You have a lot better airflow going through the parts so you don't have it overheating on your lap and burning your lap off. And also you have space inside to put larger video cards inside and more fans and do things that you want to do and switch out different parts. Whereas inside of a laptop, all those parts inside are custom built to fit that particular chassis of laptop. And since you built a PC by yourself, you know how to upgrade those parts yourself. You don't have to pay someone else to do that and install it professionally, as it says on Amazon, and charge you like $80 for that. You're very limited with upgrades for laptops. Very, very limited. Reason number three, you know exactly what's going inside your PC. This is one of the more important topics. You know what's exactly going inside the PC, meaning you know whether or not the hardware inside is good quality and you did research on. But even if it wasn't the best hardware, you know the reviews, how it performs, and what to expect from it. You also have solid warranties on most of your components in case they do fail. Plus, you don't have to deal with extra software that is installed on a pre-built off-the-shelf or custom computer also known as bloatware. Knowing exactly what's going into your PC is vital as to knowing you're getting what you paid for. Reason number four, customizability. Not only do you pick the parts, but you pick the color schemes, the lighting, and the type of appeal you want. It could look so sexy with just a little color coordination. Of course, if you're not that interested as to how it looks and just the fact that it performs, that's completely fine. But for a lot of people who are spending their hard-earned money on it, they at least want it to look good and have it the way they want it to look. Reason number five, perhaps one of the most important reasons as to why you should build your own computer is having the knowledge of building one. Having that knowledge is pretty much invaluable. Learning and understanding how everything works and how to put it together is very useful. With that kind of knowledge, you can open up many doors of understanding. Looking at the inside of the computer can be very intimidating and scary at the same time, but honestly, it is really not that hard to build a PC. Knowing how it all works can save you time and money in case you need to replace or fix something. Additionally, we are surrounded by technology every day in one way or another, and learning how a computer works forges a strong foundation to learning how other technology works. Learning how to build a PC may interest you in other things as well. Plus, you get bragging rights on building your own computer. Even if computers may not be your interest or hobby that you're seeking, I guarantee that most of you use a computer in some way, shape, or form, whether it be a laptop, tablet, phone, or regular desktop computer. So knowing how it works can serve to be beneficial in many different ways. So it's cost efficient in terms of buying it off the shelf or custom built. 
Better performing in most cases, versatile with upgrade options and aesthetics, and provides valuable knowledge. So there are definitely more reasons as to why you should build your own PC, but these are the five that stood out to me the most and are personally the reasons why I chose to build my own computer. I wanted the best bang for my buck, I wanted the performance, and I wanted it to look the way I wanted it. So let me know what you guys think and what are some of the reasons you personally believe are why you built your own computer or thinking about building your own computer. So let me know about that in the comments down below and let me know if you guys enjoyed this video or found it helpful. So I wanna thank you guys for watching this video. Remember, if you wanna see more videos like this, consider subscribing to the channel and becoming part of the Tech Junkie family. So I wanna thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.